Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to install Stardew Valley mods for uh, Android. Uh, before doing anything, you need to know that uh, this is limited to .xnb mods, which mainly means you can replace sprites, or add hairstyles, uh, uh, clothing maybe, but you, you can't do anything about content. Uh, I, I will also add something that uh, in using a PC version, you can use Smappy. Uh, which basically loads mods for you. So you can use, for example, uh, overhauls for each season, winter overhaul, spring overhaul, fall overhaul, and Smappy will load them uh, based on what season you're in game. Uh, that doesn't work for Android, so you have to manually input every time you want to change uh, the sprites in game. So all the mods and all the APKs I uh, will show you will be in the description. You can go to Nexus Mods to download them and make sure you download uh, .xnb mods, which uh, will be the only one to work with that method. So first, you have to buy the game, Start Valley, and you have to download one application, which is APK Extractor. So I've already downloaded it. But uh, yeah, you need it. The second one you will need is APK Editor, which you can uh, download through the link you have in the description. Once done, you basically have Start Valley, APK Editor, and APK Extractor. Then we'll see about the mods. So you first you open APK Extractor and you extract you extract uh, Start Valley. It may take some time to load. So you need to look for Stardew Valley. You can just search it. Once done, you click on the three dots. Yeah, that's Stardew Valley. Then you click, you allow it, and you extract. So the epic, basically what this does is the, the game will be extracted to as, as an APK in a specific folder. That's what you need to edit it. So once done, can check on file manager so you have extracted APKs right there and there's that value okay so we can go now on APK editor so basically what this does is it allows you to enter the APK files and edit it like the content that is inside it so basically you'll be facing uh, the interface you have on PC when you go into your Steam folder and you, you open Stardew Valley uh, folder. So select APK from file. You go to your extracted APKs and there goes Stardew Valley. Uh, you need to make sure you're doing backups every time, but don't be worried because first off, there's cloud safe. So you can always delete every Stardew Valley uh, apps you have if you if something goes wrong and just download it on the Google Play Store again to get the the vanilla version. So you select it and you do simple edit. It basically means you replace files only. So now you have what you see on computer. You can open assets, content, and there you go. You have all X and B files. So now there's two icons. The right one, uh, it, it saves uh, the file somewhere on your computer where you want to save it. And the left one, would, you select a file and replace uh, that file with the one you selected. So that's what we'll be using. So now we only have to download mods. Uh, let's say we'll take an example and download the Japanese building mods, which looks neat. I'll give you the link in the description too. And probably same for all the mods I'm using. So you need to check. Uh, okay, first off, I need to log in.
Okay, so once done, when you're logged in, uh, you're going to Okay, had some troubles. So you need to check on that tab, you check files, and there goes all the mod files. So most mods are not using .xnb because you need to use Mappy to download them, which is a bit handier, but you, you need to look for the .xnb files so you can preview the content. So this is .png, this is not good. This is pictures basically. A dot .xnb files is both, it contains a picture, the sprite, and some information for the game to know what sprite to use where. So Smappy only needs the dot .png files, the picture ones, but you need the whole xnb files. So you look for xnb, it's right there. Most modders give them, and you download them. So, that's that's done. You can also download it on your computer and use Google Drive to transfer them. Download complete. So you gotta have RAR to extract it, ideally. And you could put it somewhere there, for example. Have a fuck ton of mods there. Yeah, not there. Let's go on. Okay, so now that's done. All the mods are there. The, the skin at least. So now you go to APK Editor. You select it. You go to Assets, Content. You gotta learn where each files are. Uh, because basically you you have the... Okay. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll explain myself better. So. There we installed uh, building modes, which replace buildings. So you need to seek for buildings files. So there goes all the building files. So you have the barn, which left icon to replace, and you look for in Angel's Japanese building, barn. So this is the modded file. And you're gonna click and done. So now you replaced your original barn file with the modded barn file. And you need to do that for each file, but you'll only do a few at a time because if you do too much in one row, it may end up in an error. So you're going to have some trouble and need to start everything again. So do it, do three to four at a time. And if you if you need to change folder for I don't know different modes like clothing modes, then building modes, just do each folder at a time. Like clothing first, you save, building modes. You save, etc. So I'll show you. So houses, I'm going to replace houses too, and then well, and let's say water obelisk too. Now I save. It may take a few time. That's very long to do, but at least that's rewarding. So you wait for it to process, and it will create a new APK with the the the. The files you replaced. We'll check if that's uh, if that's working later. So you'll see that everything is fine. Uh, also, there's no risk in doing that. Uh, I'll say it again: you don't lose, you don't risk anything. You can just delete everything and just download again the game from Google Play. You will not lose your uh, your save, but just make sure to have a backup of your save just in case. I don't know. But, but it's very unlikely. So now there's three options. Close, you go back to APK editor. Remove, remove basically, uh, uh, it, it uninstalls the game if it's already installed. Uh, we saw that I installed the, the Google Play Stardew Valley, which means I can't install again Stardew Valley from an APK. So I need to uninstall uh, start valley and use the brand new apk to install it again so i i would if if i was done i would need to remove then install remove then install but uh, now we're just going to close because i still have files to add so 
this is extracted apk's files go back check for um, apk editor go in tmp there we go so this this is the one with house well and barn replaced let's edit it again assets content buildings let's add big barn big coop coop deluxe barn meal lock cabin yeah lock cabin now we're done okay so once done we have the second apk with the files we added before and the files we added again so let's check leave go back okay second one now you need to select the second one simple edit assets content buildings and you add the, the rest and every time you're going to create a new apk and you need to always select the most recent one so you add a few at a time and you get for example 13 14 15 apks you use just the 15th one to install the game and you'll have all the files if you take a, a lower apk like the first one or the second one you'll like all the files you added after so now we're going to have no stable okay so just as an example so we'll check we'll check if uh, if that works And I'll give you in the description uh, the mods I use for uh, tree sprites, for colors, the overhauls, for cloudings eventually, and for buildings, the Japanese one, but you can use any .xmb files really. Just make sure it doesn't, uh, it doesn't say that it adds functionalities to the game. If any mod says it adds something, uh, you can't use it. That, that will not work because you, you can just replace skins and uh, eventually dialogues with, uh, with characters. So, okay, now let's say I'm done. I added everything. Remove. You uninstall the start value you already have and install. You install this APK. You need to allow uh, to install from unknown sources. That means uh, the your phone you won't let you install any apps from any sources, mostly Google Play only. But uh, you need to allow APK editor to install APKs. Okay, now let's just open it and check. Uh, there's one thing uh, that may go wrong if you're using a French, Chinese, Japanese, whatever language version of the game. Uh, the thing is, most .xnb files, we, we'll check on that later, but most .xnb files are made for English language or like general use. Some may not work if you're not using English language. To switch from any language you're using, for example, I'm using French initially, but I changed my uh, my uh, my phone language to uh, my system language to English. So Stardew Valley turns to English, and then some mods started to work uh, before uh, some didn't want to work. So yeah, let's check on the modes. Let's load. Let's save. Let's check. Okay, so it worked. We have the houses. We could check on the meals, maybe and all, but uh, you gotta trust me for that. So yeah, it works perfectly fine. And you can switch any files like this. So now let's go back and check about language. Um, it's pretty easy to do with buildings, characters, animals, but it may become hard when it comes to skins overhauls like spring town uh, skin for the town in summer so i'll check on that with you 
let's go back to the PK. Okay, so that's the game files that's counted where everything will be installed. So you can see there's a lot of, lot of, lot of files. Uh, you can check, for example, for outdoors, for outdoors with something in the right, PT, co, ja, effort. So there's always the .xnb file and another for each language. This you don't care about, never switch them. Uh, the game, the, the, the app won't even allow you to switch them out. So if, for example, let's take, let's say I want to switch, I'm going to spring down and I make a mistake. Do I have it? Okay, it seems. Okay, we'll do that with Summertown because I have the file. So let's go on Summer. Summertown is in maps. I need to go down, 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 down. There you go. Summertown. So I want to switch Summertown with with the Summertown file. Let's say I misclick and I switch, I don't know, BR1. So I misclick, I switch BR Summertown with regular Summertown. You know, you see, this won't work. So that's like a security for, it's it's not intended to, of course, but that just prevents you from switching anything to any place and make big errors, which would, allow you, which would need you to start from uh, the beginning again. So you need to make sure you're replacing the right files with the right mods and files. So you can check uh, on computer start the valley mods tutorials because it's the same, like, you have the same files to replace. It's everything is the same. So you can, from now on, you can just check on uh, PC version mods guides. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just, uh, just leave a comment in the YouTube comment sections. I will try to answer you. I'll, I'll try to give out a whole variety of mods you can use. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, sorry for my bad English eventually.